Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. McClintock here to give you a final look at the sealed play uh, campaign uh, mode in Magic 2014 uh, Duels of the Planeswalkers. So I really just wanted to focus on the uh, auto uh, auto build deck uh, feature that's in this uh, sealed play uh, campaign or rather the uh, deck builder interface. So um, we're going to work with my second uh, sealed slot, which uh, I've named uh, Bell Peppers. Uh, back in episode three, I believe, I constructed a deck from scratch in the uh, builder interface. And although I called out to your attention the uh, auto build feature. Um, I didn't really have the time to play around with it so much and really test test out how good it is. Because in that same episode, I was also commenting on how how this whole uh, sealed play feature is a bit of a is a bit of a departure for sure uh, for the duels series. And uh, since the game is targeted at newcomers to Magic. Primarily, um, it, it's building a deck is a is a pretty uh, advanced thing to do if you're uh, very new to Magic. It's, it's a, you know it's a it's not so user friendly, let's say. So um, in the time since that episode, I've reworked my deck quite a bit. As you can see here, I've let me see. I originally had a red and green deck. And then uh, I showcased a, a, a sealed, um, uh, uh, sorry, uh, showcased a match in the uh, sealed play campaign, and I got whooped by uh, Jace Balarin's all blue deck. So I went back to the drawing board, as is often the case in Magic, and I took a look at where my deck came short and uh, where I could have done better, even just. Playing, you know, my my own skills during the match. What I could have done to uh, change the outcome. Well, just look at the deck. I uh, realized I was too short on land. So if we go here to the deck strength indicator and click it, I would say um, you heed their advice on having uh, minimum 17 lands. Uh, my red green deck had I think 15 lands, including the Terra Morphic Expanse which is the fetch land. And that was pushing a bit, and if you recall, I did have some trouble getting, I think, my fifth land in play on time. In any case, my, my land routes were not quite there. And sure, that was it's, it's, a, it's a low sample size to just base um, that assessment on one match, but uh, my feeling was, yeah, maybe, maybe the lands could have been a bit more uh, generous. So I've reworked everything. I've got their uh, requisite check marks on this list now, so it's awesome. <laughs> and uh, I've switched colors, so I switched out green for white, and I've also splashed in uh, black. And um, since making the changes, I've uh, defeated Jace. I've gone through Chandra. I've uh, walked past uh, a Johnny Goldmane. And uh, after a couple tries, I got past uh, Garrick here. So what I want to do is uh, try out the auto build feature, and uh, we'll we'll give it a test drive against uh, Liliana here. We we'll just go back, select Bell Peppers again. So let's see here. We need to do auto complete. So. I think now, since I have a 40 card deck, autocomplete is not going to do anything. Okay, so what it tries to do is it tries to fill in the blanks for you, but since I've got no blanks, let's just see what happens. Just thinking. Okay, all it's really done is change the makeup of my uh, lands. So it just looked at my, I think I had 23 spells, it looked at that and it tried to work out sort of like the best way to um, 
build a mana base. So let's try and auto just lands here. Yeah, no change. So what we have to do at this point is uh, just take everything out. Let's start fresh. So as I as I um, remove the cards, you can sort of see the gist of my um, red, white, and black deck. Try to have a lot of low cost creatures. Put in as many flyers as possible, and put in some larger creatures, but nothing too, uh, nothing too crazy. I think you know my highest cost creature is this Dawn Strike Paladin, who isn't really too special all on his own. So now, what if we just just start? Completely blank slate. Alright. Alright, here we are. So, we don't have the uh, completed uh, card collection yet. I still have to unlock one more booster, but we've got uh, a pretty good selection with 112. I'm going to try something out here. Let me try just doing auto build with absolutely no cards in my deck. And let's see what they come up with. This should be interesting. Alright, let's take a look here. So they put in um, Plains and Forest. So they've made a white green deck for us. So they put in the Fetch Land. Put in a White Knight. Good pick. Put in the Sentinel Sliver. Put in a Predatory Sliver. Okay. Deadly Recluse. Honor of the Pure. So far, so good, I have to say. Fiend Hunter. Master of Diversion. Yeah. Both the Griffin Sentinels, which I had in my deck before. So I put the Advocate of the Beast. Treading Griffin, okay. This guy I've actively avoided um, for the most part. I think I did one build of uh, my previous sealed deck in my other slot. I might have put this guy in just for kicks, but uh, I'm generally not fond of these vanilla high toughness creatures that don't do anything else. Then again, this is a limited format, so you, you do have to make do with what, with what you have. So there's two of those uh, oxes, which are just psychopaths. Uh, we have the, uh, the, the wolves, the bailoth. Put two of those in, which is actually uh, probably a good thing. It's a solid creature. Uh, we have Day of Judgment. This will uh, pretty much re do a hard reset on the uh, battlefield. Hunt the Weak. Actually, quite like this card. Dawn Strike Paladin. Garex Pack Leader. And. Overwhelming Stampede. I gotta say, this is a pretty solid deck. Let's look at the curve here. So it's a pretty even um, color distribution. We have 13 white spells to 11 green spells, and the one um, non colored, which is the uh, Terramorphic Expanse, which you saw at the beginning of the deck. No one drops, um, and uh, a lot of two drops and three drops. Then things kind of bump up on the uh, four mana cards, uh, thanks to things like uh, the Rumbling Bailoth and uh, the Wolves, the uh, Briar Pack Alpha, and the Oxes. So um, yeah, it's pretty. Uh, more of a mid-range deck, I would say, at this point. So that is that's interesting. This looks like a solid deck. Um, before we take this into a, a match, I should want to do another auto build, but this time putting a start start point. So they went 
white and green for us. You know, I probably don't need to do this with the lands, but just be sure. Okay, we're going to go in uh, totally different colors. So, when I play Paper Magic in real life, my um, number one color is hands down black. And um, I also like white and red a lot, but since um, I've been using white and red quite a bit, let's go into blue. Blue is nice. And uh, what we're gonna do is let's um, actually, yeah, let's let's do the thing where we take some of the uh, rare cards that we think are sexy, and we'll put those in first, and then we'll get the uh, tool here to build the deck around the rare cards that we put in. So, oops, I just want to see what this one is again. Redirect. So this is for double blue, you get instant that uh, essentially can choose new targets for your spell. Okay, it's got a very specific use. Let's put that in. We also have a nightmare. Uh, this card is killer, especially if you're going uh, primarily black. Uh, especially uh, all black, so you know you're gonna have all swamps in your deck. This thing is just insane. Now, for a two or three color deck, not so much. Uh, you're you're not counting on this to be very big. By the time you cast it at uh, turn six or seven, uh, you might get uh, a four-four flying creature for six, maybe a five-five, um, which is still decent, but. Um, all black is where this guy really belongs. Let's put him in. Glimpse the future. Look at the top three cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand and the rest into your graveyard. Sure. And we'll put on a, a black knight. And we'll put in the uh, vampire nighthawk. This guy is just too good to leave out. And I think that's good for now. Let's do an auto build. Let's click the gear down here. Do autocomplete. Should we just say autocomplete. Yes. I know. Make it so. It's thinking, thinking, thinking. Okay, well, here we have a pretty exact uh, split on the uh, lands. We have 16 lands. So it's lower than what they uh, expect. Well, oh, that's funny. They must have, yeah, they must have the Terramore, uh, there we go. Looks like they'll always put this guy in. And I suppose that's okay. If you put him one, that should be fine. I don't think you need more than one, especially if you're just going two colors in your deck. So um, blue, black, let's take a look at how they filled out our deck. Black Knight, yep, redirect. So they put an Essence Scatter, counter target creature spell. This is a very good card in sealed. Train Condor, a flyer, 2-1 flying. Whenever Train Condor attacks, another tar target creature you control gains flying until end of turn. It's decent. They put in a giant scorpion for us. They put in a murder. Divination, draw two cards. Another one. Assassinate. This has been a pretty solid card in this format. Archaeomancer. Um, a little bit expensive, but I think in the right circumstance um, you can do some uh, pretty cool things with this guy. We got two of them in this deck. We also have two Bloodhunter Bats. Fairy Invaders. Rotting Legion. The Harbor Serpent. For 4 and 2 blue, we get a 5 5 Serpent. It has Island Walk, but it can't attack unless there are five or more islands on the battlefield. Two of these guys. Okay, they kept the Nightmare, yeah, and they have the Public Execution. So already I can see a pretty back-heavy, um, top-heavy, sorry, top-heavy mana curve here. So it's not too bad, actually. I mean, there's no one-drops. There's um, three two drops, a whole bunch of three three drops, um, good amount of four drops. That 
<laughs> like five, six drops. Which is thanks to uh, you know these two public executions, the nightmare, and uh, the two harbor serpents, and yeah, that's, that's kind of iffy about this one. This one's called Awesome. I believe the uh, white and green deck they made before was lower than Awesome, was it not? The reason why it's not perfect is because it's a bit low on creatures, but just by one. So, let's uh, not, I don't really feel as good about this deck as I do about the uh, white green. So it really should just be a, uh... oh here we go. It's staring at me in the face the entire time. There we are. <sighs> so. Let's get that white green deck back. Oh no! They went in another direction. This time black and white. Interesting. This one has got a perfect score. And let's just check things out a little, a little bit more quickly this time. Hundred bats are okay. Okay, judgment, paladin. Okay, okay. This one seems okay. Let's save it. So it will try out different things each time. That's interesting. Let's jump into a quick match with uh, Liliana here. Hmm. Let's let's uh, draw a new hand. There we go. This is a little bit better, even though it's yeah. I'm assured my mana for the first uh, few turns, and then I have a third turn play, so I'll keep this hand. So um, I'm just gonna put out my planes first, and I'll put on my swamp first. In hindsight, it might have been better to put on my planes, since I know I have a white knight in the deck. So having uh, two planes out ready on turn two would have been might have been smarter. But my white knight has not come, so it's okay. Okay, I'm, I'm liking the uh, the land droppage. And I'm liking how I can cast my uh, scorpion. They saw my giant scorpion and raised me another giant scorpion. Yeah, we could waste that on our scorpion, but we're not. And we're not going to attack just yet. Oops. Yeah, I think I'll pass the turn here. Someone's double down on scorpions, that's that's fine. You go right ahead. I 
I'm not uh, terribly excited by how this match is going so far, but you just never know what will happen next turn. So, okay. Okay, she's pulling ahead that, that she's put up the staff. So beginning on her next turn, she's going to be gaining life for each swamp she puts out, and every black spell she casts, and she's got an all black deck, so I have to be careful about letting her pull ahead. Um, okay, I'm going to put up my Master Diversion. And I'm not going to attack it because I want to have I want to attack my master diversion next turn. And I'm gonna save my murder until I'm ready to attack, so I'm done for this turn. And yes, let's end the turn. I have to say, uh, she's not exactly blown me away with her cards either, although she's uh, sucked some blood out of me, so she's at 24 life, and I'm at 18. I I'm liking my land drops, I, I can't complain about mana scoot or flood this turn. But it's uh, time to move now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to murder one of her scorpions. I think they're uh, too much of a threat at this point. I'm going to lock down... Where should I... Uh, should I lock down the bat? No, I will lock down the other scorpion. No. I'll lock down the bat, actually does more damage, and I can't block it. And then I'm gonna attack everything. And I'll gain some life from my paladin. Creature to tap? Well, I want you to tap the only guy I can block right now. And I come in for 5 damage. Almost evening things up. So I'm feeling a bit better now about my board presence and my overall control of the, of the match. Ah, no, one of these guys. So, as I mentioned before, the staff is doing a lot of work for her, and uh, these bats are also uh, being a pain in the ass. Let's go put this. I'm not quite sure what land I'll fetch. But it's probably gonna be an, uh, a plains just to even things up. Put my blood hunter bat. Gonna give her a taste of her own medicine just this once. Okay, <laughs> 20 20. And I'm not going to attack just yet. Because if I, if I attack, I'd want to uh, make sure this scorpion doesn't block anyone. In order to do that, I need to attack with the Master Diversion. But if I attack with the Master Diversion, I run the risk of getting him blocked by her new Blood Hunter Bat here. So I'm just going to wait one more turn. Um, yeah. Before that, I'll just grab the land. And I'll grab the plane. Alright. So we'll skip the attack. Okay, so she's trying to break the uh, s slight stalemate we have going here. And now the land is on my nerves, getting on my nerves. Now I do not want any more land. I'm good. 
have 8 mana, I can handle pretty much anything. Okay. Once the Rotting Legion untaps the next turn and starts attacking, it's not going to be good for me. It's not good for me at all. I'm going to attack these three. Leave behind my giant scorpion in case they decide to come in with the Legion. Hope I don't regret this move. I'm going to tap uh, their giant scorpion. And he, if she wants to trade um, Blood Hunter Bats, so be it. Uh, I'm sorry. Not going to trade the Blood Hunter Bats, but she does get rid of my Master of Diversion. Of course, that was going to happen. Positive side. Okay, she's gonna do this to herself. On the plus side, I got rid of um, her only remaining flyer. You know, I still have mine, and that, this is not looking good. She's putting the um, that enchantment called again, the uh, mark of the vampire on her um, Rotting Legion, but she did not attack, probably because I had my Scorpion ready to block. So, it's going to be a very long game if all I have is this bat to chip away at uh, Liliana. But uh, let's put in this uh, sliver. Good to have an extra blocker. And then set to pass the turn. Okay, things are looking bad for us. Things are looking bad because now we don't have our death touch. Buddy, huh? Um, should I take the seven? She is bound to have another creature to cast to bring in as a defender. Um, but for now, I don't want to just throw away uh, a creature to defend. I I have a pretty high uh, life total still. I can I can take seven damage at this point. Turn. Okay, she's gonna bring something back from the graveyard. She's gonna plunder my graveyard and uh, just stole a scorpion. Okay, so we have an art flyer. Uh, not the strongest uh, thing around, but it's gonna do work for us. So I was hoping to swing in with my uh, Dawn Strike Paladin this turn, but since uh, she has a second uh, giant scorpion now to block. I guess there's just gonna be the blood hunter bat here. And then we'll just put out our griffin. Yeah, the, uh, the momentum definitely has shifted in her favor. Well, uh, it's time to uh, block, and we're going to, hmm, yeah, we'll just uh, get rid of this guy. We'll take the one damage, but uh, yeah, she's still going to gain life, which really sucks, because now she's got 30 life and I'm at 14. See? I did not want to see this card. I really did not want to see this card. 
All right, um, there's still hope, I think. My attacks not really making too much of a dent. I just three damage while she's gaining six life at minimum um, each time, I, each of her turns. So at this stage in the game, I'm just waiting to top deck um, an assassinate. Or, yeah, just some kind of removal spell uh, or a pacifism. I might have a second pacifism in my deck, but uh, I'm, a, I'm in a really bad spot right now because what I can do now is actually take the um, scorpion out of play, but I have to sacrifice one of these three guys. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna. I need to. I need one more point of damage to take out the scorpion, and I think I will use my. Use that. She's my paladin. I do want to have another flyer, but this guy does so little damage each turn; it's almost meaningless. Okay, I still want to hold on to the paladin. I'll take another six though. So I'm down to eight. Oh jeez. Well it could be worse. She still has uh, a scorpion there. Oh wait a second. Did I not kill her um Do not kill her scorpion. Why is it still alive? That's... that's wacky. I feel like I just threw away my... griffin for nothing. Oh, right. That scorpion was mine, so it just goes back into my graveyard. Yeah. Details. Okay, I need I need all the blockers I can get. And uh, you know, if this guy just had three power, I could I could put him on the attack and sort of f try and force a block with uh, her scorpion. But as it stands, yeah, this is. I wonder if I can make a comeback. Things are not looking great for me. Ha! <laughs> if I, uh... If I block with all three, I still can't kill the uh, Rotting Legion. That's... that's brutal. You know what? If I block the Rotting Legion now, I just buy myself an extra turn. That could be what I need. But I'm just gonna get rid of this uh, scorpion and lose an ox. <sighs> yeah. and I'm hoping, I'm praying she doesn't have a, another blood hunter bat that can just zap. Oh, perfect! I'm gonna use this assassinate on the rotting legion and say good night. Can I turn to Todd? I have a very long way to go. And down to four life. Liliana's got thirty three. And I'm I'm feeling some relief that I've kept my uh Dawn Strike Paladin. Oh look. This should help things a lot. Should move things along just a little quicker. Okay. So we're gonna attack with all again. So eight damage, nothing to sneeze at, and we're making some good progress now. I'm gaining life. She 
still got five cards in hand, so she's got some tools still. Oh my goodness. She's gonna bring back the Rotting Legion, I think. No, no. Death Touch Scorpion. Questionable. Questionable. It's time to top deck here, folks. I'm gonna shut you down. Alright. I think we're in a good spot. So, it's looking pretty good. My dog is getting excited in the background here. cards in hand so it doesn't affect me. So we got the Day of Dead Judgment but uh, we can save that. We don't need to use that just yet. So this vampire is not what I wanted to see. Okay we're gonna skip Pass the turn. We need to uh, pull something out of the hat again. Just let that through. I'm gonna lose my day judgment now. Swamp. These rats getting in the way, about this guy getting in the way. It's, it's not looking good for me. I think uh, I think I'm done here. Probably gonna let that vampire in one more time and then have to block it next turn. Oh look. I don't think this will save me. There's there's still this guy on the board. This match is really dragging. It's really dragging. I'm actually beginning to get a bit impatient. It's not too bad. I guess some people would consider this a nail biter. lose this guy if he double blocks me with the rats and the minotaur so I uh, gotta pull him back yeesh let's get ballsy I just can't. yeah see I'm 
just waiting for another public ex execution I can use on this monitor. She's not in a position, she's just attacking out there, so. Ugh, another planes. Well, I guess I'll just keep chipping away. So I got two bats. So I'm in a better spot here. I can also force a block uh, from the minotaur and still gain some life. Let's do that. And there we go. And uh, we're even out at 10 life each. Expected her to attack there. Oh no. It's gonna get rid of one of my bats. Yeah. Gain life. So yeah, this uh it's real back and forth. And I'm just drawing lands now, which I don't need. Go on with these two guys here. I'm being a pain in the ass as well. My uh, life link just refusing to go away. Oh jeez. This is uh... She's just an itch that will not go away. That's pretty much all I can do now. Gain some life. Got this guy in my back pocket. Just waiting for the right moment. Oh, jeez. I think I have to discard it now. Can't respond by casting it, so that's a shame. I cannot, I cannot attack my paladin this time, or else I'll get double blocked. So we'll skip. Is gaining life. I'll be back up to 14. Oh look, I like this. I like it a lot. So, I'm just gonna attack with my Nighthawk. And then I'll have my White Knight coming in, which will be essentially immune to Liliana's deck. And then I think finally I'll be able to uh, chip her down to zero. Might just have to keep the white knight behind as a defender from now on. So this will take a long time. One of my own. But because of this thing that uh, this game has gone on gone on for so long. Yeah, try and speed this up a bit somehow. I do think 
this. I still want to keep this guy. He's going to die for sure if I send him in. Rat's gonna be gone, but I lost my uh, zombies. <laughs> I'm just gonna take the eight damage. Oh no! Okay, that's fine. Fine still. Let's see here, that's five, that's eight. But I'll get blocked. So that's only five, so I'll take it on a three. And the next turn I would have to block something. I think this is it. I think I can pull this out. Pull this guy. And our epic battle should be over. We are uh, pretty much exhausting our decks. She's going for a Hail Mary attack. If I let the 8 through, I'd be down to 8. I'm gonna just block one of those guys, gain some life. I'll take five. And if all goes well, I should be able to finish her off on my next turn. Oh shoot. This is this is really annoying. She just when I quit. She just when I quit. block one person. She blocks. Yeah, I can finish her. So that's fine. I'm just gonna go all in. Just to make sure. Finally. Oh, what an epic match. We nearly exhausted our decks. So there you have it. I used the autocomplete function to build a deck that turned out to be half decent, even though it took a while to win the match, and I uh, earned myself my final booster pack. So thank you very much for watching this episode. Um, this has been McClintock. I'll see you next time. Ciao.